Uh, my name is Kurt Angle, and I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I have the rare opportunity to be in the movie Warrior, which is in my hometown. We're filming it in my hometown. And uh, it's funny because I get to play, I guess, the opposite of what I was. I was an Olympic gold medalist for the United States of America. In the movie, I'm an Olympic gold medalist for Russia, Ukraine. And uh, it's been kind of fun to be uh, be playing a Russian. I had to grow my, my beard in and my hair in a little bit and kind of have fun with the character. I play Koba, which he hails from Ukraine, Russia. And he is an Olympic gold medalist in wrestling. He's a Sambo national champion, one of the most well-rounded fighters. And he's the one fighter in the movie that everybody wants to see. Uh, he has never left Russia. He's considered to be the best fighter in the world. So everybody wants to come and see him. If they can't come and see him, they want to order it on pay-per-view. So Koba is the guy to see. He's the one fighter that everybody is not particularly cheering against, sometimes cheering for. They like to see knockouts. They like to see submissions. They like to see, you know, guys with a lot of skills. And Koba is supposed to be the most skilled athlete of them all. Joel did an incredible job at uh, uh, portraying a great fighter. Um, you know, I also thought that uh, Tommy, the other character, uh, I thought he was he did incredibly well. Uh, I give a lot of credit to the people that train them. You know, J.J. Perry and Fern and, and Eric Hibbler. Uh, they did an incredible job at making these fighters seem very real. These fighters, some of them are, are the best in the world. I mean, they are real fighters, and, and they did incredibly, incredibly well in the film. You know, not only did they show their technique, but they were very good at the choreography. But uh, you know, having the stunt team and uh, and obviously Gavin, the director, and Greg, the producer, and Tico, the assistant producer, uh, and and the whole crew. You know, everybody that worked together. Even I even study the camera guys. You know, uh, what they were doing. Um, Everybody's working together to make this film the best possible film, and when it comes down to it, not one person is going to make the film. It's going to take a team, and that's, that's what happened here. Gavin's very talented at what he does, and he sees something, and he visualizes it. And uh, there are a lot of things that I did in this movie that he didn't particularly like, that he wanted to shoot over again. And I don't blame him, but uh, he, he has a great visual for what he wants in this movie, and he wanted to make sure that this movie was as real as it gets. You know, you watch the movies like Rocky, and you watch a lot of these action movies, and you see, you know, you, you see guys flying in the air and, 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 you know, just landing on their head and getting right back up. This movie wasn't like that. So this movie was as close to MMA competition as you could possibly get. And, and, and all the credit really goes to Gavin because he directed this whole thing. All fans can look forward to, not just fight fans, but all fans, you're going to see stiff, incredibly great competition. Uh, these fights are real. You know, they weren't, you know, even though some of them were a little bit choreographed, these fights are real. These athletes put everything they could into it. Uh, and you're going to get a great story, you know. In a movie, in an action movie, sometimes all you get is action, you know. And, and, and then you, and then in a drama movie, sometimes all you get is drama, you know. And, and in a comedy, sometimes it's all you get is comedy. There is no story. But what you got here was a mixture of everything. You got great drama, great comedy, great action, and an incredibly, incredibly well-written story.